Alright, this is Ming from Columbia College Chicago and my major is game design. And this will be my uh, QD level design case study. And the game I choose is Oriana Blind Force. So let's let the game start. <coughs> Personally, I think this is a great art and great design. And it's pretty fun. Um, and it's pretty good uh, story of the game. Once you start the game, there's a scene, and then it tells you um, who the character is, and how they uh, um, start, and what's the story behind it. So I just save the time, I'm gonna skip that part, and then um, skip all the video part, and then now we're actually into the game. I cannot move, I'm trying to move. <coughs> Alright, I can finally move. And WSD to control. When you press S, it's kind of crawling down. And when you press W, and you actually look up. And whole camera view is moving up. Press space to jump. And you can just jump like a little bit. Or you can hold space to jump higher. But it's kind of confused when you just start a game because um, it's kind of like you don't know where to go. And right here, you can see all those red spikes and showing um, red is signal of danger. And then once I try to go there, and then I'll be dead. And you can see those like minus one uh, for health. <coughs> you tells you to not go there. Okay, so that way doesn't work. I'm gonna go here. And then right here, um, I cannot go through, so I have to find some key, which is space to jump. And right here, I have to press space. And it's like, wow, that was really high. And then that gives you a hint. Hold space to jump higher. All right, and it is easy enough. <laughs> and then, I do not know that spike can hurt me. And I don't know that what that spikes for, but I been to the spikes in the bottom before, so that might hurt me. So I'll try it. And I got killed. I think this game is not really clear about um showing the damage and what to touch and what to not. And I cannot jump to a second bar. I don't know I should do that or not. So. so Hold S and then press space to jump through. So that tells me I can go up and forward again. And I think this is the only way I can go. And then I do not know what that blue thing I have a bubble going up is for. So I'm just guessing that might be some kind of uh, uh, benefit stuff, but I have to unlock later. Alright, and then I'm just gonna go all the way to there. I, have, I cannot push to it, so I have to jump on top of it and then see. I can maybe like a help. And this is energy cell, and then which is um, showing an explaining word. Use E to link and save. So you can just save anywhere in the game. This tells me I have to hide. I have to know where to find him, so I have to go around. And this is my checkpoint. This tells me every monster got killed will have those like a light and which is our the ability points. So it's kinda like a tutorial because you have to know where to go. And oh yeah. 
there are a lot of easter eggs and we just head in and you have to like uh, find those and gain a huge view right now they change my move speed to really really slow like a walk instead of the running i have to use my mouse now So I can be upgraded. Alright, so this is a map, which is I think fine. I have to collect all those stuff. And then there's like new mission, which is try to find this. And then five player, for example me. I'll be like trying to move, trying to attack everything I can see. And now I can see oh those specs I can attack and then they will give me something. And that actually turns out a monster can damage me, so I have to watch out the bottom or top. And this is actually a good thing but they are not showing in really good way it's like a hair jump and this is another checkpoint I can hold space to jump even higher Yeah, definitely the no. game is running. I can try this spike spot is not hurting the spikes. I can hurt me. So I guess I have to find another way. Let's just see. Alright, and uh, what should I do? I cannot go through there and then I can oh why touch on there? It shows me I have to hold shift to grab, otherwise I cannot go through there. I do not know, I don't know what this is, but it tells me in word, I found keystone. <coughs> so that's basically like a tutorial, and I can just put that all the way down, and then go through. And this is the door, it's definitely closed, so that means I need to find a keystone to open the door. Lucky I already find one, but I don't think that's enough, so I have to go other places, try to search, and find the keystone to open the door. There's another one. Okay, I can move on. And this is actually like a sign or arrow points to where you actually need to go. But as a beginner, I have no idea where I need to go. So I have to just look around. That's another door, so I need to find Kisong. Every time I click, I do not have Kisong, it's like shaking screen and then shaking camera and tells me, oh no, you should not. 
which is makes sense because I should not click on door if I don't find the keystone. And those lights can follow the gravity and then just close down. After you click on it, they are kind of bounce. And so the purpose of this game is like try to be vulnerable and not see the other tree. And there's a lot of monsters can block and like traps can block you. And I have a shadow which is showing in the forward uh, foreground because when there's like a danger behind you have to be careful. That's definitely way too high, so I have to push something. There's another hidden one. Okay. I cannot get up here, so that must be wrong. Let's try to go somewhere else to see. Here in the next, after you insert some on oh, the map stone figure, but I do not have it. Oh, and here's a, one of the keystone for a door. So, which is near, uh, in this game, there's a lot of things to collect, but it's really easy to get lost if you do not know this, and then you have to spend a lot of time to um, actually figure out what you should do and what you should not. Every time you die, world. A definitely worth something. And for example, we are. Oh. And there's like different. Um. Crystal link. And here's like my spell tree. Ability tree. And then I can just. Um. Use me as click or. And then one will not work, so I have to go to another place, which is this way. And I'm gonna see can that help me or not. Help so here, I can attack, and do all those stuff, and it's not working. So it must not be that way. anymore and I've already been there so this is why I think this game is not that good because you will um, get lost really easily not to really think about like where you should go where you should have and then um yeah I think this game overall is pretty good but you have to get it. For example, over here you did not like the game did not come um that way is dangerous or not. I should go there or not. So I have to kind of guess or think. Um, I should go there. Should I try it? It's only cost a light. So <coughs> and also I have my checkpoint. So that's totally fine. Hey, like really good benefit from this game is like you can just save uh, anywhere you can have checkpoint at anywhere so you will not stay up the end and right now it's kind of storytelling so i back to like walking mode again So Niel gave me another BLT which is on uh, no the wall jump. So I can just double the wall and then push to 
higher pace now. That definitely will help. Otherwise, I cannot climb back up again. <laughs> And then this is the path I went before, and then I do the time rank where I came. The monsters are were all dead, but now they're back up again. So then, those their those uh, monsters can um be alive again. So you have to be careful about it. Personally, I think this game is really like a Super Meat Boy um, feel. Which is you have to die a lot and then you have to um, find a way to pass through the game. But only thing I like about it is you have the uh, ability to attack and then you can skill shoot and then you can do a lot more stuff compared to uh, Super Meat Boy. Yeah, I think it was a demonstration. Thank you very much.